As the city of Brandon grows, planning for recreation opportunities is becoming more important than ever. The city is getting closer to creating a safe place for bike riders. Brandon hired a consulting firm out of Denver to help come up with a plan for a bike pedestrian network within the city. Those findings are being presented to the park board and are part of an open house that is starting at right around 530 at City Hall. Riley McEwen knows all too well that it's not always easy to feel safe riding a bike in Brandon. Three years ago, a driver hit Riley at a crosswalk. Luckily, his mother made sure that he wore his helmet. We're kind of the poster children for um, bicycle safety. Years before Riley's crash, Jen McEwen was run off the road in Brandon by a truck that didn't stop. And I ended up in the hospital, broke some bones and things like that. Jen says the city's always been responsive and is glad to see work on a new bicycle pedestrian plan. Longtime Brandon resident and current city council member Dave Cull says the city is growing, especially to the east. There is really no place uh, as far as an accessible bike path for uh, people, kids, adults to ride from the east side over to the, uh, uh, the west side of town. The bike pedestrian plan for Brandon is different from the one in Sioux Falls. It's not a continuous paved path, rather a network of paths, trails, and sometimes bike lanes on streets. We're looking at closing existing gaps in the bicycle and pedestrian system for the city. Um, and possibly proposing some new facilities. Consultant Will Kearns will present his findings to the park board and is looking for feedback from residents. We have a great project website built to collect feedback. It has an interactive map where people can literally draw lines on the map to um, give their ideas on potential trails or potential bike paths that they like to see. I absolutely support anything that would give bicyclists and pedestrians a place to walk and a place to ride. Um, even more miles of trail than what we have right now. Um, I think it would be a great addition to the community. Now, if you would like to give your input on the bike pedestrian plan, we've set up a link to the interactive map with this story on Kelloland.com. You can also stop by City Hall right now to see the maps and talk with city leaders.